New tonight, a 3% chance, a 3% chance to survive. That is what doctors told a Mid-South man's family after he got COVID and it turned into pneumonia. But after 110 days in the hospital, John Butler overcame those odds. Fox 13's Mandy Rock is joining us live in the medical district. Mandy, today he went back to thank healthcare workers who helped to save his life. Yeah, Darcy, he did. And a year ago today is when John Butler tested positive for COVID. He was a healthy eater and a regular tennis player, but his health declined rapidly. He said his faith, family, and the healthcare workers here at Regional One are the reason he's here today. Hey, you're doing good. good a little there, bit man. different from six months ago, right? A lot can change in six months. It is so good to see y'all, though. Yes. Seems like it's been forever. The last time John Butler was here at Regional One Health's extended care hospital, he was in bad shape. He had COVID pneumonia, which led to respiratory failure. From that point on, I don't remember anything yeah. till I woke up and just... Just remembered I couldn't move. Butler spent 110 days in the hospital, including 47 on a ventilator. A doctor originally told his wife he only had a 3% chance to survive. But with treatment and a lot of prayer, his health improved and he overcame those odds. And you're looking at a walking miracle because he's not supposed to be here. <laughs> he's not. Butler was discharged from Regional One's inpatient rehab in November 2021. Today, he came back to the hospital to visit the team of healthcare workers who cared for him. Oh, it's so good to see you. I'm so glad you're doing so well. It means everything. I mean, that's why we do what we do every day. Um, just seeing patients come back like him. Um, there's more stories out there just like him, and it just it means the world. A story of hope and survival. Butler said he'll never forget the compassion of the heroes who gave him a second chance. I just kept saying to myself, I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> but just being here, and I appreciate all y'all's help. And Butler said he's still recovering from some lingering effects. The virus affected his muscles, and he's not able to use his wrist and his hands like he used to. So he's seeing an occupational therapist that's helping him regain his strength. Darcy? Mandy, that tattoo, that tattoo, that tattoo. It means everything. Thank you so much. That is Fox 13's Mandy Rock reporting for us tonight.